everyone, and welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host, Kevin Kelly. Today, we're going to be talking about how to count highlighted or colored cells within Excel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So uh, the count function won't use uh, or, or won't take into account colored or highlighted cells. It just won't count them. Uh, so you have to kind of go through, uh, a, there's a couple different ways you can go through it. And the way that is the easiest and that we're going to talk about in this video is the subtotal function. Uh, and then we're going to filter and then filter the data. Uh, but you can also use count in the get.cell function or VBA. But for the purposes of this video and to keep it nice and short and simple, we're just going to use the subtotal and filter functions. So we're going to put equals subtotal here in the bottom. And now it's asking for which formula I want to use. And I already know which one I want to use. It's the count one. So I'm going to double click on that and it puts 102 to represent the count formula. Now I'm going to put comma and I'm going to reference this column right here. And now I'm going to close it and it's going to give me eight. So obviously it just counted everything that it saw and, you know, because it doesn't distinguish between highlighted or colored cells, uh, it just counts everything. So it's given me eight. Now, the way I'm going to go about doing this uh, and, and making sure I can identify which ones I want. So let's say in this case, I want to identify all the red, uh, the, the rows that are highlighted in red. So the rows that are highlighted in red represent uh, people who have sales below 7,000. Uh, and then green is obviously people who have uh, higher sales and then uh, white is about in the middle. But so these are people who have really, really low sales in the red. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to, um, if we're in the home tab, I'm going to go over here to data. And then I'm going to hit filter right here. And now it's going to give me a drop down menu. So it gives me a drop down menu on this third column on sales, which is kind of the one I'm looking at here. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You can click either one because the whole row is highlighted. So then I'm going to go to filter by color. And then obviously it's giving me this uh, no fill option, the green option, the red option. So in this case, I'm going to do red. Then it automatically filters it by the rows that are all highlighted in red. And now I have my total counted right here as three. So this is kind of a escape route, if you will, from the count functions inability to count uh, highlighted or colored cells. Uh, so again, just to review, um, I did the subtotal function down here just to count in general. Uh, and then I had all of this highlighted the entire table. Uh, and then I went to data here, filter. And then I hit this drop down, go to filter by color, and then red. And again, I could do filter by color and do green, and it would give me the green ones. And vice versa, I could do no fill as well. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel Chat.